good learning, dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have faith in me, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of all good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the passport mystery, in the covenant with you establish your reconciling, reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by prophesying the faith, we may express in deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, 
answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures endures forever. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by the builders has become, become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by the builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus revealed himself again in his disciples of the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But at the night they caught nothing. When it was ready done, Jesus was standing on the, on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that, that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you cut anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull, pull, uh, pull it in because of the number of fish. 
So the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it, on it and, bre and the bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? because they realized that it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in this morning gospel reading, we find the disciples returning to their occupation as fishermen. Jesus had called them away from their profession some years earlier. He had, he had called them to follow him and to share his work of drawing people into God's kingdom. However, now that Jesus had been crucified, there was nothing to do but go back to what they know best. They were returning to their past. However, a little bit like the two disciples on the road to Emmaus who were heading in the wrong direction. These disciples were facing in the wrong direction. They were heading back to where they had been. The risen Lord now stood on the shore of the Sea of Galilee to, the, to redirect them. To renew the call he had made to them by the Sea of Galilee some years earlier. He first established communion with them, the communion they had broken by abandoning him in the hour of his passion and death. He did so by that simple invitation come and have breakfast. We are often tempted to go back to where we have been, even if it is only in our memories. Yet, the Lord is always calling us forward, even when we have failed Him in various ways. He continues to call us to be afresh and to cast our net in different direction. Our relationship with the Lord always has a future that is full of hope. Easter is a season when we are invited to recognize the Lord on the shore of our lives, calling out to us to follow where He is leading in us. Let us ask our beloved Mother Mary to help us and give us the joy of Easter. Amen.
Let us pray that we may be attentive to the will of God in our lives. For the Pope, for bishops, priests, and religious, that Jesus may be the cornerstone of their lives and work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a world living in doubt and despair, that the confidence and joy we share this Easter time may point to the way God wants us to live. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering in mind or body, that they may be consoled or healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For priests who hear confessions, that they may radiate at all times the love and compassion of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For vocations, that many of our young people may be moved through the grace of this Eucharist to dedicate their lives to the service of the church and the priesthood or religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For ourselves, that during these days of spring, when new life comes forth all around us, we may, we may become more aware of God's presence in all creation and in all our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the soul of Jim Fagnant and Maria Terencow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father, in prayer we place our needs before you. Increase our faith and to make us ever more aware of your loving presence. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and by your human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and where you may hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, too loud are you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, he who was taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are for your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like that before, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and the end that we lean into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from him, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, to this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Mary Magdalene, 
and all the saints who has pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him every in a him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the Savior's command, for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord the Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Misere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Misere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. These are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. With you once hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, give me. That with your saints, I may be praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, and we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.